Hey guys, it's Lily, and welcome back to LPS Lily! <laughs> and today, you may know that this is my very first slime video! Yay, hippie, oh my god, I'm so original! And today I'm just gonna be sh sharing with you my slime tips. So let's just get right into the video, I'm gonna put my mask on to the side. Oh my. <laughs> Okay, so my very first tip would be to use a bowl that is bigger than the slime that you are going to make, so just in case you do not make any, like, whoopsies or anything. And my second tip would be to use Tide Pure Clean. I, I use the unscented kind mostly because the detergent scent is too strong for my dad, but also because I don't like the smell. It is see clear, so if so, like it doesn't have any color changes or anything. And um, what if you use this detergent, then uh, after the slime is made, it the slime has a very like soft like texture. So I'm just gonna make some slime really quick. <laughs> and before I make the slime, I also suggest that you use a gallon of glue because it's just a lot easier and you don't have to go to the store every like five minutes to get glue. Let's open this bad boy. Urgh. I got it guys, I got it folks. Sorry the, uh, for the background change thing. Um, it ki I'm kind of not allowed to make slime in my studio. Anyways, let's just And also, um, when making slime, I prefer that you color the slime. And if you're and if you're going to be using paint instead of food dye, I prefer putting the paint in before the slime is made. And I'm just adding in this purple color. So after that is done, I'm going to stir this. So it's kind of not becoming like really a um, the purplish color that I wanted, and if it's not like dark enough or light enough, then you just add more glue. Sorry guys, my camera died, so yeah. So just keep on stirring it until it's like all just basically just one color. That's kind of what I prefer to do, because I don't want it to have any more swirls in it or anything like that and yep and your hands do get a little messy so if there's as much glue as this on it I just scrape it off like this and let it dry up a little maybe like scrape it off with my fingers a little bit because it's just glue and once you make the slime you're going to start kneading with kneading it you're going to like get rid of it anyways but once the color is all mixed in I like to take my tie and I just carefully, very carefully pour it in. And I pour it enough so that when you like it's high enough to like scoop stuff out of. So that's yeah. <laughs> Okay, so then you take your colored slime again, and you take your spoon that you were using to mix, and you take just like a little tiny spoonful. So I'm taking like a half of a spoonful, and I'm taking my bowl, and I'm just mixing it in. Okay, so now that is that is all mixed in, uh, we get we just repeat this step back with you in a minute. So the way that I check to make sure that the slime is ready for kneading and stuff is I touch it a little bit and if the slime like it doesn't really stick that much and it you can't really feel the liquid is like you can't really feel like the wetness anymore and you just feel like the slimy texture and that's when I personally begin to play with it. So what I do is I start off by just like stretching it up and down 
in the bowl because it's kind of just easier for me. And that's when I actually start. And once it's like a little less sticky, I begin to, I take my, both my two hands and I begin kneading with it. So it's still a little too sticky, so that is when you, and when your slime is already like over, almost played with, already played with and stuff, you take your Tide, you dip two fingers into it over the slime bowl and you start just like playing with it and poking it and stuff like the way that you normally would and slowly it should become less sticky so that's just my easiest way of doing that even after I am done playing with it it still is too sticky for my hands to handle so I'm dipping in two fingers again and just playing with the slime normally So now my slime is done and it is ready to be played with normally. And as I told you guys earlier, it has like this really fluffy like, but it's like still really stretchy and not too like, and not too like, um, what's it called, dense. It's not too dense, it's just really stretchy and smooth and that's why I use the Pure Clean Tide and gallon of glue because for some reason when I use the bottle glues also it does not come out with the same texture so yep and so then I get and so now I get my beautiful container and I just plop it in there So I have one last tip for you guys. It is, with, it is like the best way to make fluffy slime. So I seriously, all that I do is I pour in the glue, and I'm gonna be dyeing it purple again. I'm running out of glue, you guys. I'm gonna be dyeing this purple again because. Uh, you don't want just white fluffy slime because it's a lot harder to tell whether the uh, shaving cream is t totally like mixed in or not. So I'm just gonna dye this really quick. And I'm using the same spoon because I'm so professional. Okay, so now the the uh, color is pretty much completely mixed in and now it is time for the shaving cream. So and instead of adding in all of the shaving cream at once, I like to add in little by little. I've never really tried it with this shaving cream, but I like to add it in little by little. It takes a long time, but it does come out a lot better than like the really dense, really like unstretchy, really sticky kind of uh, fluffy slime. Okay, I'm gonna add in two more little servings of this shaving cream and then I'm gonna be done. So this is what the slime looks like even after I added in only two of the Tied spoonfuls. So now, and um, it is still a little sticky, so that's kind of what you want because if you know, it will still kind of get dense even after you add in the shaving cream really like slowly and stuff. So what I just like to do is let a little bit of glue be on the outside of the slime so that you can mix that in and it will still be like stretchy and like pokeable and fun to play with and stuff. And this should cover it. If it doesn't cover it, I'm gonna be pissed. So, a little less sticky now. And it's still sticking to the bowl, which is so more tied. Okay. Now it is ready because as you can see, check out. It just takes one little like thingy majig to like 
just take it out of the bowl. So I'm going to play with it a little more because it still is a little sticky. So I'm going to play with it just a little more off camera. And after that is done, it, I'm sure slime, that your slime will be ready to play with. So this is the way that it turned out in the end. But instead of the like purple color, it's kind of like a light pink. But I really do like this color. And now I'm just going to show you a little ASMR. Fluffy and they can be at the same time. Yeah. Because I added in shaving cream to one slime and the other. Let me guess the um, lighter one. Yeah. guys so thank you so much for watching this video and this is just my sister poking it and playing with it and testing it out around a lot but this is the way that it turned out after it was finished it still is very fluffy because of the one fluffy slime but it is lessy than the le <laughs> but it is less fluffy than the one the one the one <laughs> So yep, this is just how it turned out, and I hope that you become as good as a slime maker as I am, <laughs> not to brag or anything. So thank you guys so much for watching, I will see you in my next video, and I hope that you enjoyed making this slime with us, so I'll see you in my next video. Bye! And also I decided to start filming on Sundays, so bye! And today I'm just going to be sh sharing with, oh my god, the lighting is just so bright. There we go. Hey, look.